recording. Okie doke. Okay, so we're going to be doing um, on the clock, as I call this one, which just means this is all going to be timed, but it's not going to be Tabata timing stuff. Okay, so we'll just get started. We'll take those feet nice and wide, and we're just going to squat it up. So keep that chest up nice and tall, sit it back, and breathe it out. So just getting those legs warmed up, starting to get that heart rate up just a little bit. I feel like the kitties are going to make lots of appearances today. They seem very interested this morning. <clears throat> so sitting back through those heels, again, drawing that belly button back to your spine. We'll go for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, I'm going to face this direction. We're going to get those reverse lunges. So we'll lunge that right leg back, reach those arms up overhead. First one, I'm going to interlace those fingers back behind my back, squeeze those shoulder blades back. We're doing upper body, so getting that upper body warmed up too. Step that right foot forward. Let's take that left foot back. Reach those arms up overhead to start. And then interlace again. Squeeze, pinch those shoulder blades back. <clears throat> Step it forward. We'll take that right foot back. Reach those arms overhead. Take that right hand, grab at that left wrist, tip it over to the side just slightly. And right foot comes forward, left foot comes back. Reach those arms up overhead. Left hand, grab that, that right wrist, tip it over. Hands come down, step that left foot forward one more time. We'll bring that right foot back, reach those arms up overhead. We'll bring those hands down to the mat. That right hand stays, that left arm peels. Left hand comes down, step that right foot forward. Left foot goes back, reach those arms up overhead. Hands come down, left stays, right peels. Right hand comes down, step that left foot forward. So we'll move into some booty kicks from here. So fast or slow, chest remains tall, shoulders remain back, getting those heels all the way to that booty. We'll go for five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now we'll bring it down to a plank position. So we'll come down onto those forearms. We're gonna step that right foot out and then that left foot out. We'll step that right foot out and then that left foot out. We'll go for five more on each side. So right and left, right and left. We'll do three more right and left, last two, right and left, one more, right and left. Bring yourself into that tabletop position. We'll go through some cat cows. So we're gonna inhale, bring that back up, tuck that chin into your chest. Exhale, drop it all down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, drop it down. Squeeze through those blades as you bring it down. Inhale, reach that back up. Exhale, drop it down. One more, eat, inhale, reach that back up. Exhale, drop it down. All right, so. For this, we're going to go through, like I said, a timer. So everything's going to be on a minute, but we're not doing activity for the full minute. So we're going to do it for part of the minute, and then we'll finish out with another activity, okay? So the first one is going to be um, push-ups. So I'll set the timer. We're going to do 12 push-ups. So using those knees or toes, you'll do 12 push-ups, okay? 
After you do those 12 push-ups for the rest of the minute, which I'll walk you through, you're just gonna do those walkouts. So no push-up on this one, just walking out and then walking back, unless you wanna add that push-up, okay? Second one we're gonna do, you have two options here. So the harder version is gonna be renegade to kickback, okay? So renegade, kickback, renegade, kickback, okay? If you wanna do the standing version of this, just do a row to a kickback, row to a kickback, okay? For the remainder of that one, we're just gonna alternate between bird dogs, right and left, okay? The next one is going to be a bent lateral raise, okay? So arms are gonna be at your side, 90 degrees, lift it up, bring it back down, lift it up, bring it back down. For the second part of that to finish up, we'll go into goal pose. So down, up and squeeze, down, up and squeeze. And then the last one is going to be overhead tricep extensions, like so. Okay, and then with the same weight to finish it out, we'll just do that squat to press with that one dumbbell, okay? So the timer will take us through all of that, and then there won't be a stop. There'll be like a little pause in between set. Um, but then after that, we'll take our like functional recovery period. Okie doke. So the first one's gonna be those 12 push-ups to those walkouts. So if you don't wanna do the walkouts, Stand it up nice and tall. Just give me some high knees, like so, okay? All right. So I'll get this timer started in three, two, and one. Take those hands nice and wide for me. Let's do those 12 push-ups. Bringing that nose all the way down to the ground for 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Find that high plank, walk those hands all the way back to the feet. Stand it up, walk it out. Or you can just do those high knees. Add that tricep push up if you want, or just walk it back. Stand it up, walk it out. Walk it back. Stand it up, walk it up. Walk it back, give me 10 more seconds. Stand it up, walk it out. Walk it back for three, two, and one. All right, so we get those weights ready for that renegade row to tricep kickback, or you can do that standing row to tricep kickback. We'll go in three, two, one, give me that renegade to kick back. We're going for 45 seconds, renegade to kick back. Keep those hips nice and level for me. Whatever version you want here, make sure that booty is down nice and low. Keep those shoulders out of your ears. We'll go for 15 more seconds. Get that row up nice and high, kick it back. Give me 10. This goes into the bird dogs. For five, four, three, two, and one. Give me those bird dogs. So just alternating sides each time. Up next is gonna be that bent lateral raise. We'll go for five, four, Three, two, and one. All right, so stand up with those dumbbells. Again, bend lateral raise. So we'll be up like this. We'll go in three, two, and one. Lift it up, squeeze. Squeeze back through those blades for me. Lift it up nice and high. Breathe it out. Trying to get those elbows equal with those shoulders. Draw that belly button back, bend those knees just slightly for me. Give me 15 more seconds here. Last five. 
three, two, and one. We go into the goal pose, drop it down and squeeze. Lift it up, this is hard. Drop it down and squeeze. Lift it up. Drop it down and squeeze. Lift it up. Drop it down and squeeze for three, two, and one. So then we just have that one dumbbell. We'll go into overhead tricep extensions for 45. Last 15 will be that squat to press. So bring this overhead for me in three, two, one, up and squeeze. So make sure you have a challenging dumbbell here. Keep those inner biceps by the ears for me. Up and squeeze. You got it. Keep it going. Draw that belly button back to your spine. Keep pushing, keep squeezing. Give me 15 more seconds here and then we go into that squat to press. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Weight goes right at your chest. Give me that squat. Press it up overhead. Squat. Press it up overhead. Good job. Push it out for three, two, and one. All right, so place this weight down. We're gonna go into a 30 second plank, plank shoulder taps, crunches and rotations before we start that over. So now you know if you need to adjust those weights to make them heavier, we'll go ahead and find that 30 second plank. Give me those forearms, ready and go. Squeeze that booty, squeeze those quads, press those heels back towards the back of the room for me. Give me 15 more seconds here. Make sure you're not collapsing into those wrists. Last 10. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So we find that high plank position. We have 30 total shoulder taps. Use those knees if you need them. Tap it out for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I throw it the way there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine and 10. All right, we'll flip it over to that back side. We have our bicycle crunches opposite of our regular crunches, I'm sorry. So crunching both elbows into both knees. So hands go behind the head, crunch it in for one, two, draw that belly button in, three, four, five, keep pushing that belly button flat on that ground, one, two, three, Four, ten, a third of the way there. One, two, three, four, halfway there. Push it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Give me ten more. Ten. Make sure you're not pulling on that neck. Nine. Eight, if you'd prefer to do these on a stability ball or something like that, you can. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we'll come up to that B set position. I'm gonna grab that one heavy dumbbell. We have 30 rotations total, not each side. So rotate to the right for one, two, three. Relax those shoulders. There's 10. Really reach it back. Halfway there. Nine. 
Give me 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. All right, so that's what this is going to look like. So we'll be back to those push ups after this. So stand up, grab a quick drink if you need to. We'll head right back into those push ups. So get all situated. We have 12 of those, and then they go into the walkouts or the high knees if you would like those instead. All right, so we'll get started in three, two, and one. Take those hands wide. Give me those 12 push ups for 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's come into that high plank. Walk all the way back to those feet. Stand it up, forward fold. Again, you can add that tricep push up if you want. Walk it back. Forward fold, walk it out. Walk it back. Walk it out. 15 more seconds. Stand it up, walk it out. Push it up, walk it back. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So we have that heavier dumbbells. We have two of them. We have those tricep kickbacks. Renegade rows to tricep kickbacks are standing rows. We'll start in three, two, one. Row to kickback. 45 seconds. Row to kickback. Keep those shoulders relaxed and out of those ears for me. Keep those hips nice and level down to the ground. Try not to move. That booty all around. Push it out, you got it. This one will go into those bird dogs after this. Give me 15 more seconds. Hips are level. For five, four, three, two, on one, place those weights down, bird dog. Reach it out and squeeze. Push that belly button up to your spine. Flex those feet. For three, two, on one. All right, let's stand it up with these dumbbells. We have those bent lateral raises. I'm gonna go a little lighter. We'll start in three, two, one, lift it up nice and high. Squeeze back between those blades. Work that back as well as the shoulders. Pretend like you're lifting against an invisible arm pressing you back down. Push it out, bend those knees just slightly. Again, belly button goes back to your spine. Keep that good form. Take these nice and slow, you got it. We'll go for five, four, three, two, and one. Give me those goal posts, finish it out. Up and squeeze. For three, two, and one. All right, place that weight down. Give me that one heavier dumbbell. We have that tricep extension to the squat and press. This goes overhead in three, two, one. Up and squeeze. Up and squeeze. You got it. Nice job. Keep those biceps by those ears for me. Weight can be lengthwise or horizontal. Keep it going. You got it.
Give me five more seconds for five, four, three, two, and one. Weight goes just below your chin. Squat and press. Squat and press. Squat and press. Don't lock those knees or those elbows. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So now we're going to be back to that plank, that little series we just did. So we'll go to our 30 second plank. Find those forearms. Hold and squeeze. You got this. So again, making sure you're not collapsing those shoulders into those wrists. Make sure your booty's not up in that air. Give me 15 more seconds here. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Last 10. We have three, two, and one. Find that high plank position for me. Tap those shoulders out. I'm gonna take my feet nice and wide. One, two, three. Hips are level. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. We're halfway there. One, two, three. Four, ten. Give me ten more. For ten, nine. Breathe it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Flip it over. We have those crunches or whatever ab exercise you want to do here. Place those hands behind the head. Bring those elbows into the knees. Crunch it out for me for one, two. Meet in that middle. Make sure you're not just shoving your knees into your elbows. Lift those shoulder blades up. There's 10. Push that belly button in. You got it. Halfway there. Stay strong. Give me 10 more for 10, 9, 8. Push it in. 7, 6. Crunch it up. 5, 4, 3, two and one come up to that seated position grab that one heavy dumbbell for me make sure that back is nice and straight and flat we'll rotate it out for one two everyone counts there's ten keep those shoulders relaxed Keep pushing. 20, give me 10 more for 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. So we're gonna be back to those push-ups, back to those push-ups. So we'll go back on that timer. So go ahead and take those hands nice and wide on that mat for me. We'll get started in three, two, and one. Give me those 12 push-ups for 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, 
four, three, two, one. Find that high plank, walk it back. Stand it up, walk it out. Add that tricep push up if you want, walk it back. Stand it up, walk it out. Keep pushing for me. 20 seconds to go. Push it back. Stand it up. Last 10 seconds. Walk it back. Give me one more. Walk it out. Push it up in three, two, and one. All right, I grab those heavier dumbbells. We have those tricep um, renegades to tricep kickbacks. Find that high plank, grab those dumbbells. We'll get started in three, two, one. Feet are wide, kick it back. Hips are level, shoulders are out of your ears. Keep it going, keep that core nice and tight, guys. Give me 15 more seconds, then we'll go into those bird dogs. Last five, four, three, two, one. Find that tabletop position, bird dog it out. Core is tight. For last five, four, three, two, and one. We'll stand it up. We have those bent arm lateral raises into those goal posts. <clears throat> so elbows stay tucked at your sides in three, two, one, lift it up. Squeeze those blades back behind you. Up and squeeze, you got it. Fifteen seconds to go. Lift it up. You can do it. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Up to that goal post. Drop it down. Squeeze. Up and squeeze. You got it. Drop it down. Squeeze. Up and squeeze. For three, two, and one. All right, place those down. Get that one heavy dumbbell for me. We have those overhead tricep extensions. Overhead tricep extension. <clears throat> we'll go in three, two, one. Lift it up. Keep those inner biceps by your ears as much as possible. You can do it, you got it. <clears throat> Give me 15 more seconds, up and squeeze. Last five, four, three, two, one. Weight goes just about that chest level, feet go wide, press it out. Squat and press, squat and press, squat, and press, squat, and press. You got it. For five, four, three, two, give me one more. All right, so we'll do one more set of that core, and then we're gonna kind of put some of this stuff together before we move on to that next thing. So, Go ahead and find that plank position for me. Find that plank position. We'll hold for 30 seconds in three, two, one, and go. Hold and squeeze. Keep 
20 to go. Last 15, we're halfway there. Keep pushing. Give me 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, find that high plank position. Let's tap those shoulders out for one, two, hips are level, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, you got it, two, three, four, five, halfway there, five, four, three, two, one, give me 10 more for 10, nine, stay strong, eight, we won't see these again, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's flip it over. We have those elbow to knee crunches, full crunches here for 30. So hands go behind the head, crunch it in for one, two, shoulders come up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, lift it up, nine, there's 10, keep it going. One, two, push it out. Three, four, nice job guys, halfway there. Five, four, three, two, give me 10 more. Get those shoulders up for one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, come to that boat position. We're gonna twist it out, 30 total, right and left for two, right and left for four. Six, relax those shoulders. Eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, twenty. Give me ten more. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. All right. So now we're gonna put all those primary exercises together, doing each of those for one minute. So we're gonna do push-ups for one minute, renegades to kickbacks for one minute, bent lateral raises for one minute, and overhead tricep extensions for one minute. That'll be it for these, and then we'll move on to the next thing, next round, okay? So take that nice deep breath, grab a drink if you need it. Wide arm push-ups, we're going for one full minute. We'll get going in three, two, and one. Arms go wide, give me those push-ups. Breathe it out, slow and steady. Use those knees if you need them. Hips stay level down to the ground. Make sure you're reaching that chin out, not dropping it into that chest. We're halfway there, guys. Push it out. You got it. Keep it going. Give me 20 more seconds. We'll get that same 15 second rest in between. Last 15 seconds. Give me 10. Last five, four, three, two. Give me one more. 
Good job, roll those weights in. Maybe go a little bit heavier for this last one. Feet go nice and wide. Give me that renegade to kick back. We'll start in three, two, one. Row it up, kick it back. Hips are level, row it up, kick it back. Good job. Give me all you got here. Relax those shoulders, keep them away from those ears. Use that core. Keep it going. We're halfway there. Push it out. 20 seconds to go. Give me 15. Last 10. Five, four, give me one more on each side. Three, two, and one. All right, we'll stand it up. Up next, squeezing. We have those bent lateral raises. So that 90 degrees, it's gonna be tough after this one. We'll go in three, two, one. Lift it up and squeeze. Nice and slow. Again, push against that invisible weight pressing down on your arm. Breathe it out, get those elbows high. You got it. We're halfway there, keep pushing. Lift it up and squeeze. Don't give up on me guys. Let's take it to the end. <laughs> Last 15 seconds. Squeeze, you got it. Give me 10. For three, two, and one. Good job. All right, we have that one heavy dumbbell. Last exercise in this is gonna be the overhead tricep extension. And then we move on. We'll go in three, two, one, and go. Lift and squeeze. Keep those biceps by your ears. Remembering the heavier weights you guys use, the more challenging this will be. So make sure you're really pushing yourself, guys. We have an hour now, not like 90 minutes. Good, push it out. You got it, almost halfway there. Up and squeeze, burn those babies out. Give me 20 more seconds. Keep that chin up nice and high, breathe it out. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, give me one more. Good job. All right, so grab that drink. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate what we're doing next. All right, so you guys all go sideways here. You're gonna bring that left weight up raise that right weight to it, and then drop that left weight down. So one weight always stays up. You're just alternating left and right. We'll do that for 45 seconds. And then after that 45 seconds for the last 15, this will be the hard part. You just hold those arms up for 15 seconds. If you have to drop the weights for that, you can't. That's gonna be our first exercise, okay? Then we're gonna do an upright row, okay? So upright row, squeezing those elbows up nice and high. Okay, we'll go for 45 seconds on there. After that, we'll squeeze, bent arm, lateral raise, bent arm, lateral raise. So you're gonna be bent over this time, okay? And then from there, we're gonna do a one-arm row. You're gonna lunge that left leg forward, place that left hand on your left leg, 
and then row with this right side. We'll go 45 seconds there. Then you come into a lunge position like this, hammer curl out for the last 15 seconds. And then we switch sides for that fourth exercise. So it'll be this side here, and then come into that lunge position and hammer curl, okay? So you're gonna have a challenging weight for that one arm row, a heavier weight. So just make sure that it's something that you can handle that curl with. If you only get a couple reps on that curl, that's totally fine. So we'll start out with those lighter dumbbells for this front raise. So just to remind you, one weight is always up. Right meets it, brings down the left. Left meets it, brings down the right, okay? So you're just tapping each one out. So we'll get going. And three, two, and one. Left arm starts up. Switch it out. Nice and slow. Keep that core tight. Draw that belly button back to your spine for me. Push it out. This will start to burn like crazy. That's the idea. Keep those nice and high. Keep them right at your chin level. Give me 15 more seconds and then we hold. For five, four, three, two, and hold. This is the hard part. Hold, hold, hold. Give me 10. Push it out for five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right, let's grab those heavier dumbbells. We have those upright rows, upright rows into those lateral raises, hinging at the hips. We'll get going in three, two, one. Squeeze it up. Push it out, you got it. Squeeze those blades. Keep pushing for me. Every rep counts, guys. Give me 15 more seconds. For five, four, three, two, one. Hinge up those hips. Give me that lateral. Up and squeeze. For five, four, three, Two, and one, face those weights down. One heavy dumbbell, lunge position. Place that left hand on your left leg. We'll go in three, two, one. Roll it out, keep that elbow tucked in nice and tight at your sides. Reach that crown of the head forward. Check that line on my back. Make sure you're nice and straight like that. Push it out. I will stay tucked. Make sure that you're not digging those left toes into the ground. Give me 15 more seconds. And then we'll go into that lunge position for that hammer curl on this side. We've got five, four, three, two, lunge position, hammer curl it out, just that right side. For five, four, three, two, and done. All right, switch it up. Right leg goes forward. You've got time. We'll go in three, two, one, up and squeeze. Elbow stays tucked.
Nice job, guys. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Don't tense them up as this gets challenging. Give me 15 more seconds. Release those right toes just a little bit for me. Make sure they're not digging into that ground. We'll go for five, four, three, two. Find that lunge position. Give me that hammer curl. Keep that elbow tucked for three, two, and one. All right, stand it up nice and tall for me. We're just gonna take one heavy dumbbell, actually. We're gonna have 15 wood chops on each side before we move on. That's all we're doing here, 15 wood chops, and then we take it back to the beginning. So we'll squat it down, bring that weight up, rotate. Make sure you're using tension with us, keep that core nice and tight. If you get less reps than me, that's totally fine, guys. There's five. Just make sure you keep moving. You got it. 10, give me five more. For five, four, three, two. Give me one more, one. All right, let's switch it up. Down to the left, up to the right. For one, two, three, four, five. Good. One, two, three, four. 10, give me five more. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so we're gonna be back to that timer. We have those front raises to start with. So if those were too hard last time, then go ahead and grab those lighter dumbbells. I don't have anything lighter, so I'm stuck with these. So we'll grab those lighter dumbbells. We're gonna get straight into it, guys. We'll get going in three, two, one. Left one starts up, right beats it. Drop it down. Shoulders are relaxed. I don't want you bringing tension into that neck. Slightly bend those knees. Keep that chest up nice and tall. Try to think about tucking that tailbone beneath you. That way you don't have a sway in your back because then your lower back is getting loaded here instead of your shoulders, your triceps, the muscles we're trying to work on. Give me 15 more seconds here and then we hold. We'll go for five, four, three, two, hold. 15 seconds, squeeze those triceps, push it out, relax those shoulders. Think about that happy place. Relax, relax, relax. For five, four, three, two. Done, nice job. All right, we have those upright rows, upright rows. So stand it up nice and tall, roll those shoulder blades back for me. We'll go in three, two, one. Squeeze it up nice and high. Good job, guys. Feel that burn, push past it. Strength today, so not a whole lot of cardio, just focusing on that strength training. We've got 15 seconds to go, get those elbows high. I think it's supposed to be another nice day out, so you can get out there, get a walk, a bike ride, something like that for five, four, three, two, Bend it over, fly. 
Relax those shoulders for five, four, three, two. Give me one more. Good job. All right, set those weights down. We have our one heavy dumbbell. I'm starting with my left leg forward. Placing my left hand on my left thigh. We'll get going in three, two, one. Tuck it tight and row. Try not to rely too heavily on that left arm leaning. So that way you use those legs a little bit. Use that core. You can also place that arm behind your back like I am here. If you feel like you're just like jumping weight into that left hand. Keep squeezing for me. Release those toes periodically. Give me 15 more seconds, squeeze. For three, two, one. Give me that hammer curl in that lunge position. Nice control. Draw that belly button back. Burn out that baby for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, right leg goes forward. Place that right hand on that right thigh. Left leg goes back. We'll get going. And three, two, one. Again, make sure you're not dumping weight into that right arm. Reach that front of the head forward. Keep that elbow tucked. Nice and tight at your sides. Release those right toes. A lot to think about here. Squeeze it up. You got it. Give me 15 more seconds here, and then we'll go into that curl and then back to those choppers. Let's go for five, four, three, two. Give me that lunge position. Curl it out. Elbow stays tucked. Squeeze that bicep for five, four, three, two. Give me one more. Good job. All right. So I keep this weight. I go back into those wood choppers. We'll go down and up, down and up. Then we're gonna get through one more round before we finish up today, guys. Time flies when you're having fun. There's five. Again, not a lot of cardio today, so you're probably not super sweaty. But your arms are gonna be pretty fatigued all day. Give me 10, five more. Cardio's coming. Wednesday. One, two, three, two more. Four, and five. All right, drop it down on that left. Bring it up on that right. Push it out, keep moving. I'm always amazed by how fast this time goes. Give me five more. For five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so I place these weights down. We're gonna have those alternating front raises one more time. So we'll go through one more round of this series, and then we'll be done, guys. All right, so go ahead and grab those light dumbbells for me. Alternating front raises. We'll go in three, two, one. Left arm starts up. Alternate it out. This is the easy part, though. Hold is the hard part. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Don't want anybody straining their neck on this. Breathe it out for me. Good 
Push it out. You can do it. For five, four, three, two. Hold it out. Last one. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Give me 10 seconds. You got it. For five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right. We go upright row, straight into those rear flies. Upright row, straight into those rear flies. We'll get going in three, two, one. Squeeze it up. Elbows come high. Good, nice job. Breathe it out for me. Get those elbows up nice and high, guys. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Back through those blades. Give me 15 more seconds. Fight that burn. We're almost there, guys. For five, four, three, two. Give me one more. Bend it over. Fly it out. Relax those shoulders. For five, four, three, two. Give me one more. Good job. All right, place those down. Grab that one heavy dumbbell. Lunge that left leg forward. Place that dumbbell in your right leg. We'll get going in three, two, one. Give me that row. Back it straight. Tuck it tight. Good job. Stay focused. You got this. Take that bird. Fifteen more seconds, and then we stand it up for that hammer curl. For five, four, three, two, stand it up, hammer curl. Curl it out, elbow stays tucked. Draw that belly button back. Take that sway out of that back. For five, four, three, two. Give me one more. Good job. All right, right leg goes forward, left leg goes back. Find that lunge position. Lean it forward. And three, two, row it out. You got it. Keep that elbow tucked. Nice job. Stay with me, fight that burn. 20 seconds to go. Last 15. Five, four, three, two, and one. Find that lunge position. Curl it out, guys. Curl it out. Keep that elbow tucked. For five, four, three, two. Give me one more. Good job. All right. One final set of wood chuckers. And then we're done. So roll those shoulder blades back. Take those feet nice and wide. Bring it down to the right, up to the left for one, two, three. Core is tight. Use control. Four. Don't just fly through this. Five, one, two, three, four. 10, give me five more. Five, four, three, two, one more. 
Good job, let's switch it up. One, two, three, four, five, lift it high. One, two, three, four, 10, give me five more for five, four, three, two, give me one more and one. Good job guys. All right, so we'll just stretch out those arms really fast. Awesome job today. We're gonna roll those shoulder blades back just a few times, standing it up nice and tall. Then like we started in the beginning, we're gonna inhale those arms up overhead, drop that right wrist with that left hand. Give me a tip towards the side. Bring it back to the center, right grabs at that left wrist. Give me a tip to that opposite side. Keep that chest forward. Bring it back to the center. Interlace those hands behind that back again. Shine that chest forward. Squeeze those blades back behind you. And then we'll forward fold. Allow those arms to fall up over your head. We'll have one more stretch after this. And then you guys will be in the shower and on your way. So bring those hands down to the ground. Bend that right knee, straighten out that left leg. Reach that left arm up nice and high for me. Left arm comes down, bend that left knee, straighten out that right leg, reach that right arm up nice and high for me. And release, heel toe those feet all the way together for me. Hang just for a second here, grabbing those opposite elbows, tucking that chin into your chest, releasing that lower back, and then slowly roll yourself all the way up. Roll those shoulders one more. Time and everybody give yourself a little round of applause. Great job today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Have an awesome day.